Alongside Brent Hubbs, I'm Austin Price for the Two Minute Drill on this Monday. Just heard from Jeremy Pruitt, by the way, ho, ho, ho. Brent, Tennessee, obviously, the way they're playing offense right now, the margin of error on the defense is very you know, razor thin. Um, Jeremy Pruitt talked about they've got to be more aggressive. It's one thing to talk about it, another thing to do it. Well, and, and I think the question becomes, why are they not aggressive? Because we know Jim Chaney's nature is to throw it down the field. So why have they become a team that is not as aggressive as he would like for them to be? What's led to that? Is that a lack of trust at the quarterback position? Probably some of that. Um, Jeremy Pruitt talked about being aggressive to start the second half. We, we know in the second half of every game in their first possession, they've run off tackle on the first play, which is not the most aggressive play in the world. So you're right. I mean, I, I think that there's um, that there's a lot to take in there from, from Coach Pruitt Austin from the standpoint of he said all that. Then he was asked about quarterback development, and he talked about how you had to have um, receivers on the outside who could make plays for you. But he said earlier that they had playmakers at receiver, and he talked about the need of a run game, and then he talks about how they ran the ball well. So there was a little bit of I don't want to say dancing around or talking in circles, but a, a little bit of um, some, some mixed messaging, if you will. So I think the proof comes down for the fans of whether or not they're going to be more aggressive come Saturday against Texas A&M. As for the quarterback position, J.G. is day-to-day. -day. We'll see if he's able to go this week. If not, I'm told it will be 15, even though Jeremy Brewer kind of said we'll compete in practice this week. Well, how can it not be Harrison Bailey? And, and listen, I understand Jeremy Pruitt, you know, kind of went to bat for Brian Maurer a little bit, talking about how, uh, when asked about his development, talked about how he missed fall camp and everything else. But when you watch that game back and you watched it live, Brian Maurer, the game looked really fast for him. He didn't look particularly prepared. I think he missed some things in the run game. Um, he, he didn't climb the pocket once when he could have. He forced the ball into some areas where they very likely could have had an interception or two. There's no way you came out of that game with any confidence that Brian Maurer was the guy who could go get it done for you if called upon. He did reference Harrison Bailey being patient and kind of the way he played in the fourth quarter. He likes some of those things to build off of for the future. Lastly, and we'll get out the door with this, Latrell Bumpus had a player fall into him during warm-ups into his leg. Uh, Coach Pruitt said he'll be out four to six weeks. I'm told it's an MCL, which means he is on the shelf the rest of this year. Yeah, Tennessee's just been snake bit when it comes to pregame warmups. Guys getting hurt the last couple of years. When you think about some of the injuries they've had, Trey Smith got rolled up earlier this year um, and, and, and was banged up a little bit in pregame warmups. And now with Bumpus, which is just kind of crazy to see that happen. I, I thought the other thing that was interesting as we get out the doors. Jeremy Pruitt would not get specific on Sean Schamberger and not traveling him to Arkansas. So did not say he wouldn't be back. Sounds like he will be Austin, but he would not get specific as to why Schamberger was left off this trip uh, to, to go to Fayetteville to take on the Razorbacks. Well, I think that Sean Schamberger's days of, you know, being a consistent player on this team are dwindling down unless he can reverse, you know, the course. And at this point, you know, when you start making the move to – Nico Slaughter and Keyshawn Lawrence and other guys, how, how do you not, you know, just continue that movement to go with the young guys and get them ready because they are the future of the program. So that's a look at this Monday. He's Brent Hubs. I'm Austin Price for the two minute drill.